Histoplasmosis is a disease caused by the fungus Histoplasma capsulatum. It is a dimorphic fungus that remains in mycelial form at ambient temperatures and grows as a yeast at body temperature in mammals. Its symptoms vary greatly, but the disease primarily affects the lungs. The fungus grows in soil and material contaminated with bat or bird droppings. Birds do not appear to be infected by the fungus and do not directly transmit the disease, but bird excretions in soils acts as an enriching media that promotes the growth of the fungus. Bats can become infected, however, and they do transmit histoplasmosis through their droppings. Contaminated soil can be potentially infectious for years. Breathing the spores causes the infection. Spores become airborne when contaminated soil is disturbed, such as during construction or renovations. If this animal waste or contaminated soil is near air intakes, or the birds or bats are roosting in an attic or other part of the indoor environment, it can also lead to possible infections. Histoplasma capsulatum is found throughout the world and is endemic in certain areas of the United States, mostly the Mississippi and Ohio River valleys. The fungus has been found in poultry house litter, caves, areas harboring bats, and in bird roosts. Infants, young children, and older persons, in particular those with chronic lung disease, are at increased risk for severe infections. Disseminated disease is more frequently seen in people with cancer, AIDS, or other forms of immunosuppression. Most infected persons have no apparent ill effects. The acute respiratory disease is characterized by respiratory symptoms, a general ill feeling, fever, chest pains, and a dry or non-productive cough. Distinct patterns may be seen on a chest x-ray. Chronic lung disease resembles tuberculosis and can worsen over months or years. The disseminated form is fatal unless treated. These are just a few things to know about Histoplasma capsulatum. To learn more, visit the website shown on the screen. IAQ-TV, the place to be.